Welcome to the screencast on responsive web design. In the last couple uh, webcasts, we talked about HTML and styles, uh, cascading style sheets. So we're gonna, today we're going to briefly talk on what responsive web design is. So we want to build a website that adjusts to the media that renders them. So it renders on a phone or a tablet or a laptop or even a monster 42 inch display and it renders differently based upon the device that is rendering uh, the media or the device is rendering them so for example you may want to print have the web page render differently when you print it to this to a printer or you may want to take out the colors for printing them black and white and other things so how can we do that using HTML and cascading style sheets. Well, first off, let's talk about some of the typical device sizes. Um, generally, the width of the screen is less than 768 pixels, is extra small devices like your phone. Uh, some of the older phones are even smaller than this, but generally you could say it's about 768 pixels. Small. The sort of tablet size go from 768 to 992. These are again rough boundaries. Medium is uh, between 992 and 1200 pixels. Uh, that's sort of the iPads, um, notebooks, um, and large is the larger, you know, 17 inch laptops or desktops or your huge displays that generally have more than 1200 pixels horizontally. Um, so that's sort of the, the boundary that we're talking about is how many pixels you have horizontally to display your web page. So if you have very few pixels, seven, less than 768, you probably want everything in a single column. It's just too small to get multiple columns. As you get larger and larger, you can have more and more columns because there's much more real estate to hold the columns and you'll be able to actually see the material or the information in your website. So CSS is the way that we can get or understand the media or the device that is rendering our web page. So in CSS 2.1, they had the concept of adding a media tag to the style sheet so that that style sheet will be loaded when the media is true. And so they had the concept of handhelds or we're going to print it, or we're going to put it onto a screen. Very small selection of media types, um, and they really didn't consider the width. It's more of what kind of media are you printing to, sort of like screen, so you would have color. Print would be probably less colors, black and white. A handheld is smaller, and all up goes to all. So you could choose your style sheet based upon the media that was rendering uh, your web page and then you have since you have different style sheets you can have different uh, styles for the different media so in CSS 3 they added media queries which allow you to get much more sophisticated on how you query the media that is rendering your device so you could pick min width max width the height of the device the device width orientation whether it's landscape or portrait you may want to change the way your page lays out if it's as um, portrait, the aspect ratio, do you want it four by three or nine by six, um, all, how many bits of color, do you, you are an old eight bit machine, 24 bit machine, are you doing it monochrome for printing perhaps? So the media queries in CSS3 provide a much wider uh, ability to select the styles that you want to actually render based upon the device that is doing the display of your web pages. Very powerful can get very complicated also, obviously, with all these different choices. So what is a media query? Well, like we showed in the CSS 2.1, you could put it in the link where you load your CSS. So in the link, the relationship is a style sheet, the type is CSS, the href tells us what CSS to load, and then we can ask for the media, and then we have the, it's an operator, one or more operators, one or more media types, and then a bunch of features about that media with a value. So not screen and color, that's fine. Or in the style file itself, in the .css file, 
you can have an at media tag, which then says if the media is matched, so at media max width 979, Pixel says if the media of the device is greater than 979, the responsive image will have a max width of 95 and its height will be auto. Um, if the media is less than 979, this style will not apply to the responsive image uh, divs. So we have a lot of power in these media queries to select different styles for the um, tags in our HTML. So we combine the media queries series, so we style the page upon the device's viewing. We often choose large screen versus laptop versus tablet versus phone versus printer. What we do is instead of having different HTML, you add classes to the HTML elements. For example, your heading t uh, element might have a class that says only you know large screen, and therefore you have a type or a CSS that applies it that keeps it video. Uh, visible on large screen, maybe on a phone you hide it because it's not interesting to have a header on the top of this phone. Um, and so we apply different styles to the classes based upon the device. So for example, we have a logo header text, the paragraphs in the logo header text. When we're at max width or for large displays, we set the font size to 36 points and we make the line height 45. If we're less than the 1200 and we're greater than the 92, 992, that's sort of the desktop-ish lap large laptop. Um, we then apply this, we change the font size to 25 points, line height to 35 points. Um, and then if it's if the sort of the tablet size, we make it 18 point and 24, the line height is 24. So we're, we're making it smaller and smaller as we get a smaller and smaller device. Now, if we had less than the 768, that would be for our phones. Um, we might make it slightly smaller or maybe we make it hidden because for a small device, we don't want to have that. So as you can see, we're using the CSS and media queries to change the style of our website such that it can be displayed differently on these different devices. A very powerful technique. It's the same website, same HTML, but it displays differently based upon what device is rendering it. A very powerful concept. Thank you for your attention.